Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content process and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is collaboration, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is one of two to discuss the major enabling collaboration technologies. Part of the Collaborate and Deliver Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program, it will talk about voice over IP, social networking, blogs and microblogs, and social sharing. One driver of the collaboration phenomenon is the mainstreaming of voice over IP technology, which is essentially the use of a computing infrastructure for telephony purposes. Services like Skype, as well as many others like Google Voice and Vonage, owe their very existence to it, and it's a major step along the way towards treating voice in the same way as our other favorite content types, text, images, and video, a trend that has huge ramifications on customer service and compliance given how many business critical interactions take place vocally. Social networking has given a new face to collaboration by making it possible to simultaneously engage huge numbers of people with shared interests or activities. By and large, an asynchronous medium, it sets people up as broadcasters of a sort, communicating outward as thoughts or experiences occur in anticipation and expectation of responses to follow. High-profile public examples include Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Yelp, with corporate versions like Yammer rounding out the field. The widespread popularity of services like these is causing growing consternation on the part of those information managers who are paying attention because their use by employees or other organizational representatives is often uncontrolled and thus potentially a legal or compliance risk. As if anyone doesn't know at this point, a blog is a type of website that contains regular entries of commentary, event descriptions, or other material, such as graphics or video, as provided by an individual or an organization. Originally a blend of the term weblog, the medium is collaborative in that visitors can leave comments for each other and the author to read, and it's this asynchronous interactivity that distinguishes it from a regular static website. A microblog is a little different in that its content is typically smaller in both actual and aggregate file size, and may contain nothing more than short sentences, individual images, or video links. Another word for it that may be more familiar from other contexts is status update, such as characteristic of services like Twitter, Foursquare, and Tumblr. Social sharing is the means by which users can identify and publicize sources of information they find particularly interesting or valuable. The Facebook Like button is a simple example that has become part of the popular vernacular, and similar mechanisms exist, sometimes multiply as shown here, on websites and blogs of all kinds. This module is one of two to discuss the major enabling collaboration technologies. In it, we reviewed voice over IP, social networking, blogs and microblogs, and social sharing. If you haven't already, you may next wish to review the module that covers shared workspaces, wikis, and virtual conferencing. If you have, you may prefer to view the module on core functionality. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.